Hi gang, it's Scott again, and this is my continuing series of things you didn't realize or forgot were in Photoshop, and I have an astounding one today. We're going to use the Union flag. Notice I didn't say the Union Jack. That's right. I actually know the difference because I said it wrong enough that people told me that it's only the Union Jack when it's on a ship. Okay. Let's go back over here, and here we're gonna uh, we're gonna uncover an obscure tool, but it's kind of awesome. It's called ready the background eraser tool. You're like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> Here's how it works. You click on the color that you want to remove, and it removes it. Now, here's the thing. By default, see this tolerance setting up here? It's kind of important. See this tolerance setting? I had to lower it really low to 7. Do you know why? Because when I had a tolerance like 30 or 40 or 50, it would start to accidentally, you see that? Started selecting the white. But that tolerance is kind of like how far it digs in. If you lower it way down, like 7, I think is where I was at, then it goes, oh, we'll just leave that alone. And as long as that little plus sign that you see in the middle doesn't stray over onto the flag, it's going to erase and make that background. What you're seeing with that checkerboard is transparency. We can even go in here and it doesn't erase the flag. How slick is that as long as that little checkerboard doesn't get carried away and go where it shouldn't? Now, here's how I'll usually do it. And that is once I kind of get my way around it like this, then I'll just go grab the like lasso tool and I'll just real quick go. And I'm not, you know, I'm way outside the edges, right? No problem here. Then I just go invert and delete and it erases everything else. And now I have just the flag on a transparent background. I can drop it on the web or whatever. So that's the deal. Now, is this better than other methods? Is it better than the magic wand tool? Is it better than refine edge? Is it better if, if any of those questions are in your mind, it's just different. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works when the others don't. Sometimes it's not as good. But at least now, it's another obscure Photoshop tool left in there, left in the back of your mind to pull out someday. But there you have it. So a tool you either didn't realize or forgot was in Photoshop. So just remember, was I saying it's better than those other tools? No, it's just another selection tool. All right, that's it. Hey, go over to kelby1.com if you will. Take the free trial. Watch hundreds of cl classes on Photoshop and Lightroom and photography and the Adobe Creative Cloud apps and all kinds of stuff. You will love it and I will love you. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.